Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Oz with Tow Vibes, and I've been doing a lot of different videos lately, and I was just thinking to myself yesterday, I was like, man, it has been a while since I shot a cool hot rod or a muscle car, and guess what? I just got a call for a nice Chevy Bel Air, so we're going to go ahead, cruise over there, and we're going to go see what this guy's got going on with this pretty little Chevy Bel Air. Do I even have to say it? Roll the intro. So we went ahead and pulled up. I'm not sure if they want me to load it up in the street or in the driveway. So we're gonna go investigate right now and see what's up. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? So what's going on with the car? She's not cranking over? Huh? She's not cranking? Oh, it, it does start, but it dies. It dies right away? Yeah. You? Wow, I love the wheels. Oh, I just seen it was a black two-tone, yeah. Never really seen one like this with yeah. black and white. Is that original or something you did to it? Nope, that was how I bought it four years ago. That's how it Wow. Was. Man, and I, I'll be honest with you, I'm not really into four doors, but this is probably the bitchinest four door Bel Air I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it was, yeah, it was this or Rambler station. No, I definitely like this a lot better. You would have saw the Rambler. Oh, I would have saw the Rambler. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah but the front end and the back of this car is just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it doesn't matter. If oh, you wanna, God. You want to back it up or I can roll let me it see, out? Let me see how close you are to this wall over here. Um, I think it'll be okay. So right. we're just going to take our time, man. We're going to get it loaded up, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, load this bad boy up, pull right up to it.
really gnarly as you can see it's going in like that there's no way i'm going to be able to make that angle so what we're going to do is we're going to ramp and roll it right off of the bed so that way well we'll probably just get it off i don't know about a ramp and roll there's enough uh angle on here to go ahead and just uh use the car's momentum to go ahead and get it i hope the brakes are good because if not we fly into something all right just keep an eye on that back tire on the left side for me Just keep an eye on that side for me, brother, right? Just give me a holler. Alright. Hard part's over. Well, almost. I got another inch to go. that but I got it all don't even sweat it Okay, it's all right. I would way rather start again than look at damage. Beautiful. How far up, brother? All the way. All the way. Right there. That was awesome. Nice, man. Thank you, buddy. Oh man. I think I got it. Yeah. Um, I remember you from the AutoZone days. I was telling him I used to work there. Oh, no, you were always coming up there wrenching on stuff and oh, doing yeah. stuff. So you got an anniversary car? Yeah. Oh man, this is the one. In 1997, Chevrolet released 4,533 Z4C 30th anniversary Z28 Camaros was so well put together that the Z28 pace cars for 1997 Indy 500 were barely modified from the showroom fashion for their job. They were offered in striking monochromatic white 
with Hugger orange racing stripes, white seats with the stamped logo, white wheels, you can get it in a T-top, hard top, convertible, ground effects package. I mean, these things were so iconic and have held their value exceptionally well. Uh, a couple months. It's for sale. Really? How much? 18. Yeah, they're doing. 38. They're doing damn near. 38,000. I know someone that'll buy this car. Who? I know. I got somebody. Really? Either one or two people that'll buy it. 38,000 original miles. Um, got you got a, a card? Yeah, you got a cam in it. Got a cold air intake. Yep. Two sets of wheels and tires. It's wow. Got the, it's got the original white wheel too, but it? Oh man, you got this thing set up just right. Not too much, but just enough. All leather interior, interior is manual. T top car, it's a manual, handshaker, six speed, too. six speed car. Dang, brother. That is sweet. Of course, I got to get some pics of the Bel Air. Why are you selling it, bro? I just, I'm in a floating car now. I just sold a pickup truck, a 36 pickup, and I don't know. They're buying some cars, pops up my work. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. I buy and sell them, and every once in a while I like them, I keep them for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then, um. The car's fun to drive. Man, she's pretty. I'm not kidding. He really might. You said you want 18? You want 18,000? No, you want 18,000. Yeah, I got a car too. Um, yeah, open up the hood real quick. Oh man, the good old LT1. Got the headers on it. Got the camel in. What kind of cam you got on it? What is it? Not too aggressive, just right. Yeah. That's awesome, man. So we went ahead and got that tow done and uh, made some more contacts. I actually know a couple people interested in a car like that. So I'm going to go ahead, get all cleaned up, make a couple phone calls, and you might be seeing another shoot on that Camaro 30th anniversary. Please like and subscribe. Oz Tow Vibes, out.